What's up YouTube, this is Joe from Zephyr War Games and I'm bringing to you guys a combo video that I am extremely happy that I have found um, just through general playtesting and you know understanding how you know cards interact with each other through other videos that I found a two card combo technically and but two to three card combo wherever, however you want to call it that ends with a extra linked Gumbler Dragon with a Nightmare Goblin, Cerberus, and two mermaids while your opponent is also locked under Ibli, and you've ripped two cards from your opponent's hand, and you still have four cards left in hand. So this combo requires a Goki, a monster that can be a warrior that can be special summoned. And just any other monster in hand to allow Firewall to activate at all times, yeah? In this video, I'm going to use Joel and Lockbird as that monster. So I'm going to put Joel and Lock just there. So you can actually see, you know, that, that's the hand. And yeah, and that will end in that combo, yeah? That board. So, well that's done, done, let's get going. So you, first you normal, first you summon your Goki and then you summon your... Um, warrior, it can be like a junk forward and a goki, you know, whichever way. I use perp, I use butter spy because I just think butter spy is just overall better. Um, but that's just me. So you link into your um, your Ibli. Now Ibli activates and your goki activates. So your goki is going to add you headbutt back. And your Ibli is going to add you a, no, and your Zol is going to add another copy of the Goki that you use, in this case with Cobra. So let's go to your hand. Next you're going to use Zold's effect to send a, a Divine Sword Phoenix Blade to summon your Octo Stretch. Next you're going to use your Headbutt Back to send the Goki that you can't use anymore. Um, in this case was Cobra to summon itself and then link away into your first Nightmare Goblin. So yes, this does take two Nightmare Goblins to use. Um, you're not going to use Goblin's effect, obviously, but you are going to use the effects of your two Gokis. This adds your rematch to hand and another Goki of a name. In this case, I'm going to use Rising Scorpio. Next, you're going to use your rematch to summon back your headbutt bat and your octo stretch. And then you're going to link away those two with your Isolde into your broken ass firewall dragon. Seriously, guys, firewall is just absolutely busted. Um, so now you have that. Uh, let's get these back into the camera so you see. So you still got the call. Right now, you're going to add back your Phoenix Blade, guys. Always remember to add back your Phoenix Blade. So you add back your Phoenix Blade by banishing two warriors. Um, I tend to always banish the Goki that I can't use anymore. So that way, you know, not that I will forget, but that way I can always remember. Okay, that's the one I cannot use. Yeah. So you banish those to add your Phoenix Blade back to hand. Then you link away your Goblin into your first mermaid. Now, mermaid activates chain link one to discard your Phoenix Blade to summon Ibli from deck, and then your firewall special summons a monster from hand. So, your firewall special summons the rising Scorpio we added before, and your mermaid summons the Ibli from your deck. Next, you link these two your rising Scorpio and your Ibli into your second Nightmare Goblin. Also, in fact, yeah, I say don't forget, guys, but, and I forgot, before you do that, add your Phoenix Blade back to hand, obviously. <laughs> so, now, then, then, then you make your Goblin. Now, Goblin activates to discard a special summon. Fire will activate the special summon, since we do have a monster in hand. Remember the draw and Lockbird. And then your Goki activates the search. So your Goki is going to search you amongst another Goki. I'm going to search Bear Hug. 
everyone's favourite. Um, the goblin discards to um, get you an additional normal and then draw. I'm going to use a blank card for the draw. Um, fire all attempts, special summon. So you special summon your bear hug that you added. Now fire all, you now activate fire all's bounce effects. So bounce back your Ibli to hand as well as any other Goki. So I tend to always add the Octo Stretch just because I like to have the um, added effect in hand of halving a battle damage. Or effect damage as well. So now we're not going to add um, Phoenix Bow to hand because we don't actually need to at the moment. So now we're going to additional normal our Ibli. And then Ibli special summons the um, second goblin from our graveyard. So I just need to reset myself. Um, next, we are going to use the Ibli and the Goki to link summon our Nightmare Phoenix. Now, Firewall attempts a special summon. Um, Ibli special summons herself to the opponent's field. And Goki searches. So Goki's going to search the Suprex, because we haven't used that one yet. And then Firewall special summons the Suprex. Next, we're going to link the Nightmare Goblin that we revived off Ibli, because it can't use its effects into our second mermaid. So now we've got the extra link. Next, we are going to use Suprex and Phoenix to make Nightmare Unicorn. Fire all attempts a special summon. Suprex adds a, mon a Goki from deck to hand. So we add Rising Scorpio and then we can special summon Rising Scorpio. Next, we're going to link those two into the Gumbler Dragon. Um, but before you do that, actually, you can use Phoenix Blade to banish two warriors to add itself back to hand. Um, I know we got a draw somewhere. Yeah, we got a draw somewhere. Um, fingers off the mermaid, I don't, but yeah, so we get our draw. We got our draw off uh, one of our nightmares somewhere. Uh, my apologies, guys. But um, so now we link the link free unicorn with rising Scorpio to make the Gumbler Dragon. Fire will special summon a monster, so we can special summon the other Goki that we added. Now Gumbler activates. When a monster's special summon to a zone of link monster points to, Gumbler sends two cards randomly from our hand to graveyard. So I'm going to use the blank cards. In fact, no, I'm going to use the drawn lockbird and the sword. It is random, guys, so you will shuffle your hand and then discard. And then your opponent discards the same number of cards. Since we chose to discard two cards randomly from our hand, our opponent discards two cards randomly from their hand. And now we end off by linking our Goki and our Firewall into Nightmare Cerberus. So, with two cards, technically three because we just have to have a monster in our hand, we end with Double Mermaid. So now your opponents, all of your opponents' non co linked monsters lose 2000 attack points. We end with a co-linked Cerberus, so now our monsters can't be destroyed by, by card effects. We end with a co-linked Goblin, which means our monsters now can't be targeted by card effects. And we end with a co-linked Gumbler Dragon, which on our on our main phase, we can discard, we can force our opponent to discard two cards from their hand, so long as they control one card, one to two cards from their hand, so long as they control at least one card in their hand. And Ib is on the opponent's field, which means they cannot special summon unless it's a link summon, which they can't do because we've got both of their zones, which means now we can't be kaiju So guys, I hope you enjoy that combo video. And also we end with two, two drawn cards 
and technically because we went first two extra cards so we still have four cards in our hand so guys i hope you enjoyed this combo video i certainly enjoyed finding it and mastering it um, please leave a like and comment down below on what you think and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content like this and much more and until next time guys as always happy dueling What's up YouTube, thanks for watching that video, I hope you liked it, if you did, hit that like button, and of course don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button in the bottom left hand corner, and the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. We've got more deck profiles, duels, pack openings, and many more Yu-Gi-Oh videos coming up for you all year round, so don't forget to stay tuned for all of that. Thanks, and as always guys, happy dueling.